Hello everybody, my name is Evan Hilton and today I'm going to be showing you what gear I use for my stop motion videos. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a professional stop motion animator. I've been doing it for about five years now and I've really figured out over that time period what really works best for me and what helps create my best work. So Dragonframe is the main software I use. Dragonframe is a stop motion animation software that gives you all the features for producing a great stop motion video. It gives you the ability to change the settings on your camera, like your shutter speed, ISO, f-stop, and white balance. It also gives you onion skin features where you can look at the before and after of your current frame so you can properly align things and have a smooth animation instead of a jagged one. It also gives you a live view feature so you know exactly what you're photographing on a bigger screen instead of looking at the back of your camera. So the other software programs I use come from the Adobe Suite. I use Premiere, After Effects, and Photoshop. Uh, Premiere lets me do the basic edits such as inputting audio and color correcting the video. After Effects lets me do a lot more with the video, something that I can't really shoot in camera which is great. You can kind of use that for Premiere too, but Premiere has some limitations to it. I use Photoshop for illustrating purposes, drawing frame by frame animations. So the first two lights I use are Photo Deox lights. They allow you to change the color temperature of the lighting, so if you want a warmer scene, you can change it to that, or if you want a colder scene, you can adjust the settings on it. Uh, they stand on two light stands, some cheap ones I found online. Uh, they work great for getting up high or getting really low. So the other light I use is a fluorescent lamp. It allows me to get up close to my subjects because um, a lot of the subjects that I am shooting with are small. So it produces a great strong uh, white light which lets me color correct things very easily. Uh, it's also very cheap to get. So the main camera I use on my videos is a Nikon D750. It has been a super reliable camera um, when shooting the animations and has just been fantastic. On the camera I use a wide angle lens, it's a wide angle zoom lens, so it just lets me zoom in and out uh, on certain animations, uh, which is very handy. So tripod wise, I have always used Manfrotto tripods. They're really reasonably priced and they last a long time. Uh, it's super sturdy tripod and I've used it for outdoor animations and indoor animations. So one of the last things you want happening while shooting a video is for your camera to die on you because of the battery dying. Uh, so what I use is an AC adapter uh, which provides constant power to my camera so you don't ever have to worry about your camera dying. One of the most common questions I get is about the seamless paper backgrounds I use and the brand I use is called Savage. They produce a great line of colors to choose from so I definitely recommend them. Their paper is also pretty durable um, especially with some of the messier stop motions I've done. A few extra things I use when creating my stop motion videos are sandbags. It keeps your tripod weighed down so the animations won't get shaky from accidentally bumping into your tripod. I also use clamps to hold down uh, the seamless background paper instead of using tape. I also use an external hard drive um, when shooting stop motion videos because the videos do take up a lot of space, especially when you're taking hundreds of images. So it's very important to have all that backed up onto another hard drive so your computer doesn't get filled up. So I hope you found this video helpful and I provided all the links down below to everything I talked about. And if you have any questions, just comment below and I'll be quick to answer them. Peace.